So when I get a $4 processor, like an E7400, to go from 2.8 to 3.5, yeah, I'm going to share it with you. I stopped everything I was doing on this restoration, and I hope you like it. Onset will not be held responsible for boredom, nausea, vomiting, slapping your little brother, constipation, cramps, uncontrollable urges to hit the dislike button, amnesia, dementia, phobia, itching, swearing, cussing, and mundo dukes. So here's some of the testing I did and um, this was just out of curiosity. I seen the guys, I'll put the link in the description, the guys uh, YouTube channel where I seen this on and um, you know the guy that left a comment in my channel about this and uh, actually the guy that did this you know said that he was he wasted his time. <laughs> I don't think it was a waste of time because this is pretty darn neat. Um, I'm really excited about this and I just thought it was so cool. No software involved here, this Optiplex 760 small. for me it worked I don't know you know individual results might vary but it worked it worked for me so um, I'm not gonna take it out and I'm not gonna you know try to replicate it with that chip or any other chip for that matter because it's working great just as it is you know I'm gonna put a graphics card on here in the future so 3.5 gigahertz out of a small form factor Dell that I got from ten dollars or something like that yeah e7 400 2.8 gigahertz, two pieces of tape, it runs at 3.5 now. Stable, beautiful, cool, fast, nice, excellent. Um, I recommend it if anybody has this to give it a try. Um, if you don't know, you know, if you know what you're doing, um, what do you got to lose? But a piece of tape. Check that out. And now, the incredible, incredible, incredible.